guys, this is Bad Gamer Cat. Welcome back to 7 Days to Die Alpha 17.4. We are trying to make some bellows. So we need wood, leather, short iron pipe, duct tape, and nails. So it takes five duct tape. I just made ten duct tape, and I have more on the way. Um, I don't know how many nails or pipes we have. So we only have one nail, but we have a little pipe. We might have some nails over here. Yeah. Do. So, um. I have some more glue over here. Actually, let's turn this off. Save our wood. So let's make a little bit more duct tape if we can. Make eight more. All right, now let's make some bellows. Let's make two for now. And that's going to take 33 seconds. So, you guys, while we wait, guess what I did the other day? Our local Rod and Gun Club had a ladies' night where ladies could go and try out all their different guns and things for free for four hours. So, my friend Leanne and I went, and oh my god, it was my first time ever shooting a gun or holding a gun. And I can't believe I did so great. It was amazing. So anyway, I, I have really shaky hands because I have asthma and my Ventolin gives me tremors. But I don't usually have to take my Ventolin all the time. But um, I did have to take it. Here's our bellows because of the humidity. When, when it's hot and humid, it triggers my asthma. So my hands were super shaky, so I thought I'm going to do really badly. So the first gun I tried was like a hunting rifle. It was a big, long hunting rifle. And they um, they had these machines that were shooting these clay birds into the air. They were just like round clay pots, basically. Um, I think it was, I don't know. I don't remember what they were called. But... So I was holding the gun, and I only got th um, three shots. But the gun, the rifle was so heavy. So the first thing came out, I shot it, and I, I shattered the pot. And I, I couldn't believe I hit it because... I didn't think I'd hit it. My hands were so shaky. But then I missed the other two because the gun was too heavy and I had to lower it to rest my arm. And then I missed the other two altogether. I didn't even see them go by. But I, I hit the first one and I was really, really happy about that. So anyway, hang on a second. Let's see what it takes to make a forge. So we need clay soil, bellows, short iron pipes, and small stones. So the only thing we are missing is the clay soil. And I do have that somewhere. Oh! Looks like I have more duct tape too. So anyway, the next gun I tried was a handgun. It was like the kind of gun that cops use. Um, and they had targets. So anyway, that I felt much more comfortable with the handgun because it wasn't it wasn't too heavy and it fit my hand nicely. And it had like a little screen that you look through where there's a red target that you aim at the target. I don't know if that makes I don't know anything about guns, okay? But it felt like a video game to me because it felt like other than the weight of it in my hand, it it felt like playing a video game aiming. So there were 10 targets, and um, I only had 10 shots, and I hit 8 out of the 10 targets. So, and I had to go really fast, and I think if I could have slowed down and aimed better, I would have hit all 10. But I hit 8 out of 10, my first time ever shooting, you guys. So that was so amazing. Um, I thought that was amazing. So I think I want to make one more bellows.
What am I short on? Got the wood. Oh, is it the leather? No problem, we have more leather. Pretty sure we have more leather than that somewhere. So let's make two more so we, we'll get four forages going downstairs. So anyway, the, the last gun I tried was a submachine, uh, a sem, no, I, it looked like a machine gun, but it, they said it was a semi-automatic, and we had to sit to use that one. We were sitting inside and shooting out a window, but the target was outside. The target was so far away, I couldn't even see it, and I only got two shots on that one, and the target was like um, a bullseye, and the number 10 was in the middle in black, and then number 9, number 8, number 7. Uh, okay, so there, the, there was the black section, the white section, and then just the paper with nothing. So I thought if I hit the paper at all, I'll be happy because it was so far away. This gun was so heavy and it was super scary. It was so loud. But you know what I hit? The first one I hit right on the line between number 9 and number 8. And the next one I hit in the, the white of number 6. So I hit the target in the bullseye, like not the middle of the bullseye, but in the... Like the dark part where you need to hit, I hit that both times. I was amazed. So video games make you good at shooting guns, I guess. Because, um, wow. And I would love to go another time and try it when my hands are not shaky from my venting. Because I had a really bad tremor in my hands. So it was a lot of fun. I didn't think I would enjoy it because I don't like guns. But I apparently I do like guns. But I think it's just because of the video games, and I would never shoot anything alive. Like, there's no way I would ever go hunting. And all the other girls who were there, I, I only knew one girl, but there were so many women there. And they were all talking about hunting, and they, everyone there but me had used a gun. And I did great, considering I'd never touched a gun in my life. I was really impressed. So that's what happened with me. The, um, it was so much fun. So... Why can't I make two more? What am I missing? Why can't I make two? Oh, I don't know. Let's just make one then. All right, so now we have three extra forages. And I don't have the necessary resources. I have the stone. I have the clay. I have the bell. Oh, the pipe. Seriously, I don't have another short iron pipe? No, I must. Oh, yeah, I've got lots of short iron pipes. All right, let's craft our fourth forge for the basement. We'll have one up here. We'll keep this one up here. We might move it. I don't know. And while that's making, let's see what we need for another cement mixer. We need 25 forged iron, four springs, an engine, and mechanical parts. So we won't be able to make another one because I don't, I don't have another sp enough springs. Um, I have four springs. Well, I guess I can make it then. All right. Do I need two cement mixers though? I think, can't I just move this one? Yeah, I can. I can move this one. So let's take everything out of it. And 
I think I'm just going to move them all downstairs. Oh no, then I'm going to lose everything, won't I? I'll lose everything if I do that. Um... I have brass, I have lead, I have stone, and clay. So I have to put this stuff back or I can't use it. Let's make 15 foot steel. And let's make... I don't know, 20 forge diamond. And let's make 82 arrowheads. Make all cement. And that should take all of the iron and stuff out. Um, and then we can make some glass. And I don't know what we can do with the lid and the brass. We'll have to make bullet stuff. And while that's being made. Can I make a new workbench? The workbench takes four di forged iron, mechanical parts, a wrench, a claw hammer, and wood. To make a claw hammer is forged iron and wood. I have to wait for the more forged iron. I might have some up here. Make a little 
wee bit of room here. I just want to take all of this stuff. to the mine, you guys. <laughs> and let's see how this works, okay? <laughs> How's our mushrooms doing? They're still growing. We're heading down to the mine. And we're going to make a little forge room. And hopefully we can have our forges running without attracting zombies to our base. I hope it will work. I don't know if it will work. I don't know if we're far enough away. to be our little forge room. I just have to um, clear some stuff out. But first I am going to make a a wooden chest. I guess it's called a secure storage chest. I've been playing this game for so long and I still can't remember that. Four. I'm just going to throw this chest right here for now. And I am going to throw our four in here. I just want to make a few, a little bit of room because we're over encumbered. And... Got our cement mixer. Okay. So let's clear this out. We need to have a nice room. So I'll come back when I've done that, okay? Okay, guys. I am back, and we are almost done our room. 
So this is where we go to our mine, and I built this big room. This wall yet because there is still some more iron that we need to um, mine out. Oops. And can we upgrade this one? Okay, let's upgrade that one so we know that's the exit back to the mine. We'll just leave this one wood. And I don't know if I want to fin. Yeah, I do. I want to finish this off or not? Let's see. We have it we have our forge room so it's a pretty big room we can expand if we need to we can just make another door and another room somewhere else but for now i think this is going to be our forge room. and we have some forges to put down and a cement mixer and we still have to um make a bunch of other stuff like another workbench and things that go in the forge with the anvils. So, this is coming from the mine. This is when we come in. Oops. So, eight. We have four forges here. We can fit two or three more. And... For now, we'll just put our cement mixer over here. So, an anvil takes 1,000 iron and 100 clay. So, we don't quite have enough iron um, or clay. So, let's just see. Can we use any of these forms just for cement? I basically just want to make more cement, you know? Let's just put a little bit of wood in and turn it on. Okay, so we don't need the anvil or anything for the cement. That's great. I just want to make a lot of cement, you know? Oh, we have way more rocks than I thought we had. Okay.
only make four more. Okay, let's just make one more. We need to go for wood.